today is 10.44 a.m. in Paris. It's another uh, cloudy day. So I'm going to see Woody Allen's new movie, Cafe Societies, with G.C. Eisenberg, Kristen Stewart, Steve Carell, and some others who are great, obviously. So the film is in about 15 minutes. Then they have like 15 uh, more minutes of commercial stuff. So I'm taking this time to get to the market. So shall we go? Thank you. everything I needed and I'm heading up to the cinema. The film started about seven minutes ago. They're still in commercial. So yeah, Cafe Society, I'll let you know what I think. Come in, sit. Christ, man, it's all about ego. This whole town runs on ego. Yeah, I'm Bobby. Bonnie, come in here, can you? Hi, so I just got out of the film before I get to the movie. I just wanted to tell you a story. So I got there and you know how you get to into the movie theater, it's already dark and you can see nothing. And I just sat down and this woman behind me was just starting to mumble in French because she could not see it because of me. Uh, so yeah, shout out to that woman that actually ruined the first part of the film. She was so in this passive aggressive uh, attitude that I just do not like and it's very French actually. So Cafe Society, what did I think about it? It tells us a story about Bobby that is played by Jesse Eisenberg that moves out to Hollywood where he has his uh, uncle Phil that's a uh, very po powerful and popular agent uh, played by uh, Steve Carell and he starts working for him and then he went back to New York uh, in the meantime, he gets to know Bonnie that is played by Kristen Stewart. The film in a whole is a very Woody Allen film uh, and this time actually I can say that I enjoyed it. Sometimes it, they turn out to be very cliche, very uh, very easy to comprehend and very easy to know where they go in. But this time actually it took me by surprise. So it's set in the end of the 30s a decade and I found it so amusing and so appealing because it's the old Hollywood, it's so old style in many aspects, the music, the scenarios and the clothes and everything that's well crafted. It's also really elegant and so well put trade that I, I think that's the the part that I enjoyed the most. It takes us back to this old Hollywood but this old New York too uh, so there's gonna be mafia involved and, and these Jewish uh, families and very stereotypical so that's really uh, it was really amusing. Character wise I found it so appealing once again I thought that they did just a great job. Bobby and Bonnie have good chemistry and I really enjoyed it actually. Uh, the last time I saw JC Eisenberg was in Batman on the Superman and actually I think that this right now is uh, one of his best roles I think he's good for this kind of characters that are like quicky and weird and and just get out of the box and for me last time I saw it it was just too much but this one is a perfect fit but at the end it brings back these aspects that we see often in Woody Allen's films that would be love between an older man and a younger woman and Sometimes it just feels too pushy in his films. I remember the film with Emma Stone, uh, the first one she was in. I did not like it because I, it felt very pushy. The last one, Irrational One, I actually enjoyed it. It did not go in that direction that much, even though we always have that kind of dynamics. And one thing I really love is that we have this narrator all over the movie and, and it's really amusing. I think he it, it tells the story in a really compelling way and I it really brings out like the best of Woody Allen elements and they put it like in a right and balanced uh, amount. It doesn't feel too much, it doesn't feel too cliche, it doesn't feel it just feels really nice. We feel like we're part of this family. We feel like we're part of this story. Yeah, and one of the things that I really, really liked, it was the character introduction because we get to see a little bit of what the life of these characters looks like before we get to know them. A Woody Allen film that I really enjoyed. This one, I felt, uh, I don't know, more Woody Allen. -y. 
this director really knows these old times, this old, uh, this old school Hollywood, this old school New York, and I just find it really fascinating. Last time uh, I saw something similar in a film, Wedding Hail Caesar by Coen Brothers. Yeah, I just find this subject really fascinating because they show you how things used to be, and just uh, for me, it just really well. I think it was one of the best decisions to do it like an opening film for the Cannes Festival and uh, I really enjoyed it and I definitely recommend this to everyone that loves Woody Allen and that would like to get a glimpse of old school Hollywood, old school New York and all these, all these elements that are fascinating about this, uh, this part of culture in Alamake. So there you guys have it, my review for Cafe Society. Let me know if you saw it, what you guys thought about it, and leave me your comments. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.